For 25 years, I have been listening and learning, but no one knew. I was a silent witness in my own life. This is because I am a non-speaking autistic who had no way to communicate. What if I told you there is a method called spelling to communicate for non-speakers with autism and apraxia that has the potential to change everything about their life. Talking does not have to be with your mouth. You can talk with your finger. I am considered an unreliable speaker. I can say many words and I can sing and recite everything, but if you ask me a question, I can't answer it because of my apraxia. Apraxia is when you can't make your body do what you want it to. I am unable to use speech as my primary mode of communication. I can't tell you what I had for lunch, even though I'm able to sing you any Disney song. I am capable of understanding completely, and I assume most other autistics are capable as well. And, alright, so here's, here's a little prior knowledge question for you. What subject uh, that people study today derived from alchemy? What present day subjects are derived from alchemy? Do you think? Take a guess. Bam. C. H. Right to it. E. M. Good. I. Uh huh. S. Uh huh. Right to it. T. Right. R. Right. Ooh, right there. So just based upon what he's got rolling around on that noggin, because Gregory has been listening his whole life, haven't you, Gregory? And he's been soaking everything up. Spelling to communicate may seem simplistic and low tech, but it has enabled me to express myself like never before. I've tried other methods. Many of them rely on choices that someone decides for you. It may not be what you really want to say. All right, Gregory, from the lesson that we just did, what movie is the number one best-selling soundtrack from? I'm currently learning the keyboard. It is more challenging than the letterboard because it uses more fine motor control and requires more scanning. I'm hoping autism and I can learn to express ourselves fully this way too. Nice job, bud. Now, in addition to telling you that I want a haircut, I can let you know I like it short on the sides and faded on the top. I can tell you not just that we should take a walk, but that I want to go to Ridley Creek State Park. Now I can tell you, not only that I am in pain, but that it feels like it might be another kidney stone. Hi. Now I can greet my good friend, Hi. Brian, exactly how I want to. Homie. Now I can talk to my doctor and tell him what is really on my mind. One of the added benefits is that now I can destroy my family a trivial pursuit every single time. All right, you're on green, so I'll ask you this. Which famous painter lost an ear? Job. 
I want you to realize that this has changed not only my life, but the lives of all my wonderful friends who are in varying degrees of fluency. And the best thing is this. I love my letterboard life. <laughs>